Hey folks, Technivorous here, and today we're going to be taking a look at slicers. Specifically, I have 10 alternative free slicers for you to check out, and we're going to jump over and take a look at that right now. But if you find yourself struggling with the slicer you're using now, or you don't want to pay for software, this is a great place to start because I'm going to show you some things you might not have seen before. So stick around, I've got a lot to show you on the Technivorous channel. First of all, we're going to start with the obvious. A list of free slicers can be shown uh, easily just by Googling them and finding a list of free slicers. That's all you got to type in. Uh, in this case, I was returned nine slicers and six of these are free. Now, I do have some other links open up at the top that I'm going to go through here in a minute. There are 10 slicers, although I will tell you, as we look at this, as you see here, slicer and Prusa Slicer, these are technically branches of the same software. And that's gonna be the same in a couple cases for a couple of these slicers, such as Kira and Creality Slicer, which I will also give you the link to. Um, Creality Slicer is a skinned version of Kira with some individually purposefully left out settings and not too much added in. So it's a little bit scaled back. If you want full functionality, you have to get the actual Kira and they update that a lot more regularly. Um, but I digress. Let's go through this list real quick here. Everybody knows about Kira, so I'm not really going to touch on that one. It's pretty popular. It's the one that people recommend uh, the most, honestly, unless you have a Prusa machine, in which case you're going to be recommended Prusa Slicer the most. However, if you don't like either of those slicers and you'd like to check out some alternatives, well, that's why we're here. So the first ones I want to point out on this list are actually not even showing up on this page, okay? So Kira and Prusa Slicer are the best and easiest to use on this free list, but there are other free slicers. We're gonna come back to this list in a second. I'd like to visit Idea Maker real quick. Idea Maker is Ray's 3D Slicer, and you can set it up to work with any printer. It works really well. It has a couple of really cool things. There's texturing on models, uh, all sorts of really, really cool stuff in here, as well as primitives and other items that you can use to add and subtract and combine and make models. So. This one is a really, really clean, uh, very, very nice slicer. I definitely recommend checking that out if you're in the market for something different. And the address for that is at the top here, raise3d.com slash ideamaker. You can also just Google ideamaker. Uh, I will have a link for that in the section down below in the description. Uh, and we're gonna check out another 3D printer making company. Um, this is Matter Hackers, this is Matter Control. So Matter Hackers makes uh, and distributes uh, 3D printing supplies, and this is for their printers. But it does work with other printers as well. And again, it is a very, very robust option. You can do some really cool stuff, such as adding text in different fonts and using SVGs to extrude parts of the model. So some very CAD-like features in this one, and a lot more powerful uh, for versatility and different tools than say Kira or something that is basically just for ease of use. So um, Matter Control you can find at Matter Hacker Store. It is free to download there on the second version. Uh, and then the next one is going to be Creality Slicer. Now this is the one I get asked about the most on the channel. People want to know where to get this. Usually if you buy a Creality machine this is the software that will come on your disk and it is exactly like Kira. It is a cloned version of Kira with a Creality skin. So um, they're on build 4.8.2. And what they do is, like I said, they intentionally leave out some features that haven't been tested as long in the software instead of putting them out. So less bugs, but also less features. Um, they do catch up in batches to, to Kira by doing updates. Uh, relatively quickly. I mean, it's pretty normal. You can see they're on 4.8. Kira's on 4.13. Um, so that means the last time these guys updated, Kira was on 4.8 because they don't update through iterations. They just, whatever iteration they're cloning, they take stuff out. And Anyway, great slicer if you have a Creality machine, and you can also add other machines to it like Kira. Uh, it's just prettier. It looks cool for having a skin. 
Um, the next one is actually probably one of the most interesting. Now, this one is downloadable, but I've loaded it here in the browser. And the weird thing about this um, is the interesting stuff that you can do. So um, you can't see it here because this is the online version. It'll allow me to load an STL and slice and set all these settings. But with this one, you can actually type in primitive models um, using your own code and build models basically just all out of code which is really really cool I do have some videos on uh, ISSL around my channel here so if you're interested in seeing more on this particular slicer definitely search my channel for those um, you'll find some cool stuff and on that note we are going to be going through pretty much all of these slicers in depth in their own video I have done all of them before but um, that was a couple versions ago for most of them so let's go back to our main list and we're going to skip talking about Simplify 3D because it's paid and that's not what this is about and self-CAD as well. We are going to touch on Kiss Slicer real quick. Um, it is paid with a free option. The free option is not as robust as the paid option, but Kiss Slicer is intense. Kiss here stands for Keep It Simple Stupid, which the slicer really is not. It can be a little complicated at times, but for dialing in little minute details that you can't get anywhere else, Kiss Slicer is simply the best slicer for tuning your printer and getting exactly perfectly defined prints. Now, that's based on me using Marlin, not using Clipper or any of those other softwares. It's just the most common printer, the most common software. If you use this on an Ender 3 and you dial the settings in right, you're gonna get beauty every time, okay? Uh, and that's even with the free option. I personally have not tried the paid option, but I did get some really nice prints out of the free version. So um, the next one is Tinkering Suite. That one's free. I have not tried this one. I think I'm gonna grab it and check it out. Although if I recall, maybe I did touch on it once in the past and it was really, really simple. So um, that one is available as well and you can get it at their download page. So by the way, I will be pasting this for the main bulk of these links and then these other ones I'll have individually. I do recommend checking these out. They are really good products. Um, then you have Prusa Slicer. Prusa Slicer can be found on Prusa's page. Prusa Slicer is an amazing slicer, especially if you have a Prusa machine. And the cool thing about Prusa Slicer is if you're into their machines and you have an FDM and an MSLA machine, it can slice for both of them in the same software, which is really, really cool. Uh, we can talk about OctoPrint for just a second. It is completely free. If you're not a techie person and you're not into Raspberry Pis, it can be a little bit intricate to set up. It's not that difficult and a lot of people do it. It is very, very common, but it is a little bit more in depth to get OctoPrint running on your machine. And then you have Repeater. Now Repeater Host is technically not a slicer. Uh, if you're curious about uh, testing multiple slicers instead of just downloading all of them, what I would do is download Repeater because there are options to use the slicing engine from different slicers. So basically it is a host engine that will allow you to set your settings and then you can pick say Prusa Slicer's engine or you can pick Kira's engine and you can slice it with either of those. So um, the settings aren't quite as intuitive as those two programs but that's because this program is built to work with other uh, engines for slicing other than just one that's built into it. So really really cool software. I would check that out as well. And I, like I said, you'd be hard pressed to find a slicer that I haven't tried. I have tried Simplified 3D, even the paid version. I was not really impressed with it. And I can tell you at the end of this video that any one of these free slicers are just as good, if not better, than the Simplify 3D slicer. And I know that hurts them to hear me say, but it's a fact, it's just a waste of money when there's so many other good free products that you can use. Uh, I highly recommend sharing this out with everybody. Hit that like button so YouTube will share it as well. And I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I post videos on each of these slicers and you won't have to download them yourself. You can just kind of check it out and see which one looks the best for you. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I appreciate you as always. It's been a pretty good year so far. I've been laying a little bit low, but you're going to see me getting back into doing videos a lot more often now that I have a little more free time on my hands. So uh, thanks guys. That's going to be it for this one. Tech Never is out. Stick around guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. 
We'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.